You know, when we think about square dancing, we you know think about all of these dimensions of it, the choreography, the region, the calling style, the music, all of these things. And, and to me, what's most important to me is the social context of it, is what role does an evening of dancing play in the lives of the people who live in that community? And, you know, we all see the world through the filters of our experiences that we have. And... And I remember once hearing some people who were more into traditional square dancing and more contemporary contra dancing kind of poo-pooing modern Western square dancing. You know, they wear costumes, they, you know, use recorded music. And yet I talk to modern Western dancers, and I don't do that, and that's not my hobby, it's not my avocation, but when I talk to them, it's functional for them. It works. They love it. I can't tell you how many couples say our marriage is together because we found this in common, this this activity that we do and we love. Um, the same thing's true uh, when I was in uh, western Pennsylvania collecting dances. And they tend in some of the rural areas to ha keep the same partners in the same squares all night long. And I mentioned it to some contemporary dancers who said, ooh, why would you keep the same partner, same squares? And for them, it's, we do this once a month. These are our neighbors, even though they're 20, 30 miles away in this rural area. And we call them up and say, hey, let's get a square together for the West Middleton dance. And it's functional for them. It's the, the, That square is their little community for that night of their dear friends who they've known for decades, in some cases, a half a century. So we all, you know, look at through this filter, you know, of of what what's familiar to us and what we know. When the truth is, there's lots of different, you know, reasons why we dance and why we have dancing. For some people, it's recreation. For some people, it's exercise. For some people, it's meeting a prospective partners. You know, and it's certainly historically, that was an important role that the dance had. A huge role, you know, the, the old square dance call off, you meet your partner, pat her on the head if she don't like short and feed her cornbread, you know, referring to whether you're going to give her two-hand swing or a more intimate, you know, waltz hold swing. And and so I think that, um, I think we have to be very, you know, sometimes when we try to make sense of our world, we have to be advocates for what we like or believe in or what want other people to adopt and sometimes we we have to be more not advocates but inquire more rather than you know try to convince people that my way's right we need to be a little bit more hmm what if i don't have the filters of my beliefs in front of me just look try to be more naive right. look at the world and 